Hello everyone, welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition! Alright, so we're just gonna head on to the next main mission here. Hold up, so for this cleaning house mission I have to find two serpent stone? I'm looking at this optional requisition Mercy's Crest to challenge the bandit leader. Okay, that's fine, I'll do that, but... What's the serpent stone? Hello, you are a very pretty stone. Ah, there we go. Alright, so I did find it. I need technically three more though. It is a comfort to have you present on our journey, Seeker. You so rarely call me by my name, Solas. Why is that? Manners, perhaps. Manners have not held you back on other occasions. I say what I believe to be true, even if it gives offense to those who prefer the lie. But there is no lie in what you are. Your position is an honorable one, and well earned. You know what, that's it guys. There is no more question about it. I am romancing Solace. <laughs> but seriously. Just, just... The fact that the female elf is how oh bleh, oh, is the only person who can romance him anyway, and it's just so perfect. And I am really surprised at how well I've ended up liking him. I mean, I never paid a whole lot of attention to him during like you know when they were revealing all the companions. I'm looking for more serpent stone, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this. Um, I just kind of was like, eh, he's kind of just there, and now I've actually gotten to know him, and I'm like, I actually really like you. Mmm, come on, Serpent Stone, it's gotta be somewhere around here. Before I go into... Uh, I better just go clear out that camp. Is it true that the entire dwarven economy relies upon lyrium? Uh, mostly. We've got the Nog market cornered as well. And the dwarves of Orzama have never studied Lyrium? Well, if they have, they certainly haven't shared anything up here. Why? It is the source of all magic. Save that which mages bring themselves. Dwarves alone have the ability to mine it safely. I wondered if they had sought to learn more. Uh, the folks back in Orzama don't care much about anything but tradition. Or, you know, money, probably, and... <laughs> They're, they're not the most scholarly types, <laughs> unless you're Dagna. Dagna? Dagna, I think was how you pronounce it. Alright. Let's take care of these guys. <clears throat> I'll find more Serpent Stone eventually. Oh, hello! You saw me! Because I'm standing right here in front of you. Oh, I guess I can- yeah, probably. Yeah, let's get you out of there. Oh, was that- did I just waste that? I wasted that. Well, one thing I've noticed is if your spell- if you cast a spell does it, but it doesn't actually hit anyone, you don't get a cooldown. I don't know if it still takes up your mana, but... Alright. Let's do this. I don't know why I'm suddenly getting some- Oh, hello! Um, some issues with... frame rates, but... Oh, we've got puppy dogs. We've got more puppy dogs. Yeah, I don't think those are Mabaris. Oh shit! That is my- okay, potion, 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 potion. Why is that dog not taking much damage? He's level 6. He doesn't have any armor on. He's a really tough dog. Solus no 
longer needs help. The entire camp just basically came out. Okay. Velveteen! Oh my god, I finally got some Velveteen! Please give me more. Please give me more. I really want to get rid of that. Yes! Yay! So I have to go back to the hinterlands. If it will let me. I haven't tried since. Because I've actually been able to play the game more since I, you know, got that um, extra hard drive. Read. Hard enough. <laughs> Chapter 2. Okay. We've got this. We've got to read this, okay? Magistrate Dunwald's butler had the air of a man who had never risen before dawn in his life. He stared down his nose at Don and Brenokovic and his partner Jevlen as if he were on some lofty balcony above them instead of standing in the parlor in his dressing gown. The magistrate is indisposed. This can wait until a reasonable hour, he gestured for the guards to see them out. See themselves out. The magistrate is dead! Donnan corrected him. Wake the household. I'm saying this in completely inappropriate tones. As the butler left, Jevlin shifted uneasily in his new armor. Shouldn't the captain be here? You want to go back to the barracks? Be my guest, Donnan said with a shrug, only half visiting as he studied the collection displayed in the room. A dozen ancient swords lay nestled in display cases, protected from dust and prying fingers. He moved to the lift. He moved to lift the lid of the nearest one. Jevlin started to protest, but then the doors opened. She had eyes, the color of topaz, and dark hair that fell across her brow like sword strokes. She strolled into the parlor with such dignified elegance that Donnan didn't realize for several minutes that she was clad in a housecoat and not a ball gown. You have news about my husband? What shame has done this time? Forget to pay his bill at the rose? <laughs> she seated herself and indicated the guards did the same. Donnan nodded at the recruit to speak up. Jevlin started, no, Lady Dunwald, actually. She interrupted him with a wave. Muriel, please. Lady Muriel, your husband has been murdered. Donnan took over for the flustered recruit. When did you see him last? Muriel stared at him, her jewel-colored eyes wide, and her voice cracked on. Murdered? Seamus! With that very same voice cracking. <laughs> but in a heartbeat, maybe two, passed, and she again became the perfect picture of noble grace. I saw him at dinner! <laughs> she now imagine a dwarf talking like that. She answered in a tone anyone might use to comment on the weather. Okay, so I apparently used the wrong tone. He left before dusk. He said he was going to play Wicked Grace with the Comte de Farve. Is that actually really how you say it? Is Farve? I'm thinking I, I'm I'm totally Wisconsinite, and I'm like, I'm guessing that's how you pronounce that. <laughs> do you, Do you know of anyone who might have wanted him dead? Jevlin asked softly. People want magistrates dead on principle. Apparently I need some water, guys. <laughs> <clears throat> she gave a wry smile, but her voice grew pained. Criminals, political rivals, even people in his district who disagreed with him. She drifted off, lost in thought, and then turned to Donnan, eyes blazing. A week ago, a letter came. Vague threats. I thought it was nothing, but it upset Seamus. Who sent it? Donnan asked. It wasn't signed. 
but the seal was six crossed swords. <laughs> oh, Varric. <laughs> and the fact that these guys are reading it. Varric, Varric, Varric. Alright, so, uh, yeah, right, we've already actually inspected this area of the camp, I'm pretty sure. Um... Ew, that's definitely poop. <laughs> Ew, that's poop! Ew, Ew that's poop! I was walking in poop! <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's... Is there anything in here? We, we were already in there. Derp. Okay. I guess that's it with this. Uh, so is that basically this area? Like, the main... For the main quests, anyway? It looks like it. Camps. Oh, right. Duh, the wardens. Okay. Set active. Alright, so, let me check the map here. So is there- I guess I could try going around this way and see if I can get to that from here. Looks like I can go around it, yeah? Then... Oh, it looked like it would have been... Serpent Stone! Because I think I still need that last bit of it, right? To fill the requisition? There we go. I hope dragons don't, like, travel across areas. I hope they stay in one spot. I was just thinking, what if that dragon just suddenly swooped in? What's that? Oh, just rubble. Okay. But what if it is something? Okay, I guess it's really not. <laughs> Looks like we are getting close to- Oh no, don't tell me. I have to go up there. I think I might have to go up there to actually get to the signs of the wardens. I'll keep going a little farther. Uh oh, we've got enemies. More bandits. Hey, <coughs> did you know I killed your leader? You might as well run now, assholes. Why did I have to come here to fulfill a requisition from the hinterlands? Oh man, I've got a bad feeling. Well, actually, it looks like there's a way up, though. Can I actually... Come on. Oh, you've got this. You can get up there. You've got this. Yeah, you're doing it! No! Wow! That that thing has like a repulse uh, spell on it or something. I did not jump backwards, I assure you. <laughs> Alright, I got the hint. I can't climb up there. But maybe I can climb up here. Skyrim has taught me well for this. I have the training. No! Come on, you've got this. 
Ah, no! I can just... I can just... Get onto that grass! Hmm. Unless... No, 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 no! Curses. Okay, no, I want to try that one more time. I just was not very smart about... No! Think you'll ever go back to Navarra, Seeker? Why? Are you eager to see me go? I wasn't, actually. But now that you mention it... it... How do you know I wouldn't just drag you along? <laughs> Be still, my heart. I've grown on you. Like oh. <laughs> oh my god, I totally ship those two. It just suddenly hit me. <laughs> okay, this is where you grab the back of the head as you go, no kiss, moosh. Will I ever be able to romance Cassandra? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I will, but, you know. Okay, come on, there's gotta be a way up! It's not here. I, I can tell I'm not gonna be able to climb that. <clears throat> How about here? This actually looks like it might be doable. Otherwise, it looks like there's a path. No, come on, you've got this. Oh, fine. This looks like specifically a path to get up there. So here we go. We've got our way up. <gasps> Apostate landing. Hmm. I think we might be running into a slightly different type of enemy here. Dwarves! I mean, that looked like dwarven architecture anyway, but... Is that a bear? What was that? That's obviously a ram, but... That looks like a bear. Yeah, that's a bear. I'm guessing someone got eaten. You know what I find funny? I just noticed it's sunny out, but it's still raining. Oh, hello, bear. Hello there. I, you're, you're as friendly as Smokey the bear, right? You're just here to prevent forest fires with this rain and the, the area. daylight. Oh, I should just kill it. What level is it? Eight. Okay, yeah. We can do this. Oh shit! Ah, get away! Get away! No. You attack Cassandra, not me! Thank you, Cassandra. Okay. Now we need to search the area. Except now we're like leaving the area. Ah, here we go. A stone tree. That's that's a that's not a stone tree, that's just a really 
really tall stone that was probably shaped to be that way. So let's do this astrarium. <laughs> Alright, oh my god. Holy shit! Oh my god, okay. I'm probably gonna fail at this. Just so. so, did they give me extra one? Extra, like... This doesn't look right. How is this... That's... I think they gave me extras. Okay, um... That's odd. You know what? Never mind. I'm like, what? <laughs> I think I need a little more experience with these astrariums before I can do that one. Okay, so... I'm pretty much searching the entire area and... Sounds like there's another enemy over here. Or looks like there is, I guess I should say. I saw a red dot. Oh! Is this? No, it's nothing. Okay. Hmm. I mean, there was that camp, but I didn't see anything there. Let's try the camp one more time. Nothing. Um. Oh! Oh, elf fruit. That's... Whoa! Hello there! Where did you come from? more hysterian guys coming. Okay. So I'm confused. sign. Amulet of Constitution. Could this be it? This. There we go. Grey Warden's journal. I grow more convinced that if he was ever here, he is now long gone. Still, that would not do for us to miss him through laziness, and he was one of our most skilled warriors. If anyone could hide himself here, it would be he. One of the fishermen shows, shows promise with a spear and has shoulders like an ox from throwing nets all day. <laughs> I heard about this. That I guess one of the um, Grey Wardens in this group is apparently a little not straight. He's a little curved. He asked about joining the Grey Wardens under other circumstances. Okay, this will be the end of the episode once I'm done reading this. He asked about joining the Grey Wardens under other circumstances. I would be honored to take a worthy and willing volunteer. Now, my orders did not say whether I should seek new recruits, even with our circumstances. Or because of them, I suppose. It did not look... It... Why did I... 
it did not hurt his cause that he was easy to look at and clearly wished to know more about the Dalish. The darkspawn are louder than I thought at first. The constant whisper at the back of my mind makes it difficult to sense them as easily as I usually do, but they are near the surface. Perhaps bandits are not the worst these people have to face. The wardens were here at some point. This camp was abandoned some time ago. Indeed. Wow, how many enemies are there over there? This looks like looks like a lot of I don't really want to aggro them, but seriously, did they just suddenly come in droves or what? Yeah, seriously, I think it <laughs> seems to be exactly what happened. They suddenly all just came in and... What are you guys doing? Oh! Looks like there's like... Did that just randomly appear? Okay, well, it looks like there's random, like, the hounds they're looking for are actually wild in, in this area. And they must have, yeah, gone and killed some guys for me. <clears throat> Thank you, hounds. <clears throat> oh. Summerstone, sure, why not? Alright. Looks like the next closest is the one that I'm looking for. Yeah, yeah. So I want to go down. And is there really a safe way to do this? Oh my gosh. this I find this hard to believe that I'll get down there and not die. But maybe that's what these little crevices are for, I suppose. Yes, that's exactly what these things are for. <laughs> that was a very safe descent. Ooh, serpent stone. Not that I really need it anymore, but perhaps I will in the future. Okay. More signs of the wardens. Oh my god, that's right. I was gonna stop the episode, wasn't I? <laughs> God, I'm horrible. Alright, so <laughs> I will see you guys in the next episode.